So the human body has 150,000 kilometers of brilliant wiring. It's, it's one of the most awesome examples of design and planning in creation. I find it interesting that people like Dawkins attack what is the most overwhelmingly obviously designed uh, system. Just to mention that I haven't gone into detail on the micro design of the nervous system, uh, just to mention very briefly, you have connections in the human body. In fact, our brain contains trillions of connections, these synapses, and you might think, well, surely an individual connection, a synapse is simple, but it's not simple at all. Each synapse contains hundreds of complicated proteins uh, in order to get signal transmission, which is very complicated because down a neuron you have electrical impulses, but it connections, it translates to a chemical transfer signal and then back to an electrical signal. So just one connection is immensely sophisticated and, and complicated. And when you think the nervous system grows from a tiny cell as the human body grows in the womb, you just cannot comprehend how this is possible that this could, uh, this could form. Uh, when, if you're holding a baby, you probably think this is a very beautiful baby, but I'm thinking, hang on, there are 50,000 neurons being formed every second in this baby. Uh, quite an incredible thing. Uh, my best technician can make about three connections a second, which is on uh, a completely different uh, league. It's just incredible what goes on as a baby grows in the womb. And our brains are just unique. We have trillions of connections in our brain, a billion connections in just one cubic millimeters. The, st the storage capacity in our brains is about a million gigabytes, that's about a million memory sticks. And we have 100,000 miles of blood vessels in our brain, not just to feed our brain, but to cool it uh, as well. One of the reasons it's difficult to make supercomputers that are small is that it's hard to keep them cool, but our brain has a wonderful um, way of doing that. So how does the human brain compare with a supercomputer? A couple of years ago, IBM broke the world record for a powerful supercomputer, and it's about the size of this hall, actually. It's called the Summit uh, Supercomputer. Well, uh, the Summit Supercomputer by IBM, it's very, it's very powerful, 0.2 billion billion calculations per second, but that is only a fifth of one human brain. So the best supercomputer in the world would fit into this building, and it is less powerful than one human brain. And look at the electrical power needed, or chemical power needed, to run those two systems. It needs around 13 megawatts to run the supercomputer, but your brain needs a mere 20 watts. That's almost a millionth of the IBM supercomputer, which is less powerful than your brain. So that's an interesting comparison, isn't it? Your brain is an amazing uh, thing. <coughs> so we are fearfully and wonderfully made, just like the Bible uh, says. God makes it look simple. From the outside, the human body looks simple, but on the inside, it's absolutely not simple. God does things we cannot comprehend, and the nervous system is surely a brilliant example of that because you have your blood circulation system, the digestive system, the skeletal system, all integrated perfectly with the nervous system. God is in the detail. Uh, sometimes you hear people say the devil's in the detail. A better expression is God is in the detail. There are incredible details in the human body and God has been in every single one. It shows his care and attention. I mentioned the verse fearfully and wonderfully made. I like the version fearfully and wonderfully wired. <laughs>